everyone. This is Renee Romeo of ReneeRomeo.com. Today's project is how to repair broken glass. Now everybody has accidents around their home and in my case I have a very expensive piece of curved glass that should have gotten replaced this past year. But it didn't happen so I'm in the process of fixing this piece. I have a broken piece here, came off the bottom corner, and I'm about to see if I can repair this to make this look as seamless as possible. So please join me and we'll get all of our supplies together and make this hopefully a seamless repair. I'm using two different products on a test piece of glass before I perform my final repair on my expensive piece. So the first product I'm using is called Clear Gorilla Glue. Now Clear Gorilla Glue is really great because it dries crystal clear and it's a no foam formula. So if you've ever repaired glass in the past with some super glue, you notice sometimes you get a white crystallization wherever the super glue happened to be. This doesn't do that. The other product I'm using is a do-it-yourself windshield repair kit. Now this is a resin. This is what is used to repair windshield cracks or chips and really it does a great job if you've ever had this done of hiding that crack. So we're going to try this as well and just see which one works better. Whichever one works better we're going to apply onto the piece that I need repaired and get this job done. And I'll have links in the commentary below the video on my website in case you need these products for yourself. So here's my test piece of glass. I'm going to break this in two separate spots and clean it off with some isopropyl alcohol to get it nice and clean. Now I got really lucky with the cuts here. I have some minor striations in the smaller pieces. So we can see there's a little bit of a glare along all of those striations. Now when I put these two pieces together, what I'm looking to do is to minimize the look of that cut. So we'll have something to compare it to in the final piece. I'll be using the Gorilla Glue first. So what I've done is secured the piece of glass in a piece of styrofoam. I have a damp rag here and you need to wet one side of the glass for any glass repair. So now that that's wet, I can go ahead and apply the Gorilla Glue to the cut, just like that. And then I can take the other piece of glass, set it right on top. Now, in order to hold this together, I'm going to be using some clothespins. Now, these are really great because it's not going to exert too much pressure on this glass. It's going to hold everything in place and let it dry. But you really don't want this seeping out, so you need to come back in with a damp rag over the course of the next 15 minutes to make sure that you're cleaning up any excess glue from the surface of the glass. Now the windshield repair kit comes with this little contraption. It's usually made for chips on a windshield and you can just isolate the chip and insert the resin directly through this hole. It keeps things really stable for you. But we're not using that today. What we are using are these little strips which help for curing. So you do need sunlight or a UV light in order to cure the product. And I have my piece of glass. Now I have clothes pins for this as well. So I'm just going to put one on one end and one on the other. I'll grab the cut piece and I'll slide it in place. Well, so what I'm doing at this point is I'll be taking the resin and I'll be inserting it into this crack. So there's a really good close up of that. It doesn't matter if you have extra product on the outside because we can go in with a razor blade which is supplied with the kit and scrape that off after it's all dry. Now I'm taking curing strips and applying it to the top. You can kind of see how that bleeds out a little bit. So this looks really nice. And now that I'm not outside in the sunlight, I'm going to take a UV light and just go ahead and cure that. Now this takes five to 10 minutes. I have a UV light from my gel nail kit, so this is really helpful. I'm just gonna sit here until everything is nice and cured. Okay, it's been nine minutes of curing, so let's see what we wind up with. Let's see if it held in place. Seems pretty good. Nope, it didn't. 
So since that didn't work, what I'm going to do is a combination of the two. I will glue it together with the Gorilla Glue, and then I'll go back in on the back side and fill it with resin. It's been two hours. This is the piece of glass that was glued together with just the Gorilla Glue. So I'm just going to remove the clothespins here. They might be a little bit stuck, so be very careful when you take these off. If I run my finger over the top, it's undetectable where that seam is. If I look at it from the side, you can still see in certain areas where the crack is, but I'm hoping that once I clean this off with a razor blade, a straight razor blade like this, that it'll be a really nice repair. Now I'm using acetone to clean this. This is doing a really nice job of taking off any excess. So let's take a little bit of that resin, just like that. Fill in all up and down that crack. And then I'll get the UV light out and cure it. Now that the experiment is done, I'm going ahead and cleaning my curved piece of glass with acetone this time. I'm moistening this side. I have my clothespins all ready to go. So I'm about 10 minutes in and all I'm doing here is just running my finger along that seam making sure that I'm keeping this glass together perfectly as I clean it. It's been two hours and already I am really satisfied with this repair. I've taken about 15 minutes to very gently take a nice soft cloth and go over the entire surface of the glass just to remove any residue that might be left over from our Gorilla Glue. And I used a little straight razor like this too. So just be careful along the edges. You might wanna wear gloves for this. Just be very, very gentle. It's worked really well. This is completely completely secure. There might be a little evidence of that crack, but honestly, there's nothing on here that's going to give it away that's going to be refracted light. The refracted light from the side is actually the thing that really makes a glass break visible. So that's what we're looking at kind of here with this piece. It's filled in all the edges, and honestly, even from up close, you'd really have to get in there and look at it to see that there's a crack. So let's wait until tomorrow. This needs to cure for 24 hours. I still see just a couple little areas here where I might have let some air pockets in while it was drying. So I might want to fill that in with the windshield repair kit tomorrow. So here we are at day two. There's still a little evidence here that there's a crack. So I have the light shining on it so you can see it really easily. Here's the windshield repair kit. I'm just going over the top of this very gently and I'm just going to see if this is going to fill in these areas so that you can't see them quite as much. So let's remove the curing strips and see how we did. So there it is, all cleaned up. I think it looks really great. If I remove this, it's really a lot harder to see with objects behind it. So let's move on to this missing corner. So this corner repair is going to be done simply with the Gorilla Glue. We're going to layer it. We're going to create a little tray out of some old packaging material. What's great about this, it's already at a 90 degree angle, so we can make a nice, beautiful corner out of this. We just have to get it stuck. So this is cleaned off with acetone. I have some two-way tape. I'll be applying it to the edge along the cut, and then we'll adhere this to the glass and make a nice tray to start filling. Well, the repair is all done. The cabinet is put back together. That last little bit that I tried to fill in, that missing piece of glass, really didn't work all that well, but one great thing came out of it. When I went to pull off the piece, it actually left behind a little bit of the Gorilla Glue all along that cut edge. And what that wound up doing was taking care of the light refraction coming off of that cut piece. So you really, you can't see it at all. It's a little chunk missing, but honestly, you look at this piece and tell me if you can see it. I think this was a complete success.
So here are two really highly recommended products to try the next time you have broken glass around your home. It's going to wind up saving you hundreds of dollars in replacement costs on all of these expensive pieces of glass too. So this is Renee Romeo of ReneeRomeo.com. Please go to my website and look for more great product reviews like this. And if you enjoyed watching this project, please like, share, subscribe, and follow. I would so appreciate it. See you next time.